Coach Barrow here again. Today I'm shooting the last videos for you guys here from uh, these red clay courts down in Brazil, South America, as I am uh, heading to Europe this coming weekend for my uh, third season there uh, coaching tennis ball clients in European soil. So uh, let's get right to it here, guys. I found a little time before my trip so I can shoot some more video for you guys. Today I want to talk a little bit about the serve. And the uh, point here, guys, is to make sure that you guys understand how to synchronize correctly the arms and the legs when you do your serve. Whether you're doing a first serve or second serve, and it can be a platform stance or pinpoint stance, which I'm going to demonstrate both. Um, either way you do it, it's important to have good synchronization of the arms and legs so that you can have a nice, fluid, effortless motion and uh, for sure have an efficient serve. We all know we want to hit this ball as high as we can to get a better angle for the ball to go in the service box. So it's important to utilize the legs too. And uh, the synchronization of the tossing arm and the racket arm coiling behind the back here is very important to understand how it's done. Here we go, folks. We have a few options. You know that you see people out there club players trying to do some players will toss the ball first and then hit the racket back I've seen players that will get the racket back and then toss the arm i see some players that will do either one of these two and then bend the legs after they do it and then we have the correct way which is to do all three at the same time the correct way to serve is to toss and curl your arm at the same time and also bend your knees a little bit as you do these two so that you can then as you hit propel yourself upwards so you get more height on the impact point and a better chance to get the serve to go in. So uh, let's demonstrate here a couple of uh, times with the balls so you guys can really get what I mean, okay? As I said a minute ago, you see some players out there that will first get the racket back and then they'll throw the ball up. And then you see some other players that will throw the ball up and then try to get the racket to go. You see that the arms are not synchronized at the same time. Also, as I just demonstrated, you saw that I didn't use my legs at all. I'm just standing here on the ground. This is the platform surf, in which you don't move your feet. And then you got the pinpoint surf, in which you gather the feet together Hit. So that was a bad toss. Here we go. So rather you do the platform serve or the pinpoint serve, it's important to as you toss the ball and pull your arm behind that you bend your knees a little bit. That way you have the possibility of using your legs into the serve. So it will look more like this. Notice that when I go hit the ball, I actually push off with my legs, and as I'm hitting it, I'm going to be a little bit off the ground here. So, you see that there's a certain rhythm going on here. And to make it easy for you guys, I'm going to give you guys a super analogy here. You all know that's my method, you know, I'm always based on analogies, so you can always relate to what I'm saying. So it works exactly like the corkscrew when you go open a a, a, a bottle of wine. On a corkscrew, you have both arms going up and the part that sinks into the cork goes down. Actually, look at this. Guess what I brought here for you guys? I actually got a corkscrew here. Check it out. So look at this. See if it makes sense for you or not. I got the corkscrew here, see? And, and as I pull the the screw down, the arms go up at the same time. See this? So tell me if this doesn't look exactly like this when you serve. Look. See? The arms are going up together and you are going down, bending your knees. Let's do it with the racket here. So you Check it out. At the same time, you got your tossing up going up and your hitting arm going back controlling behind you, you bend your knees. Let's demonstrate one platform, sir. Very modern, you know, you see Pete Sampras used to do it, Andy Roddick, 
Roger Federer. There's a lot of good players that like to just keep their feet where they are and not gather them together and just go from there. Check it out. Okay. So my arms go up at the same time that my knees bent. And then I push off mostly on my left leg here. And then land on the same leg, kicking the right leg back for balance. And it looks like this. That was a good one. And then you get this corkscrew effect here. Check it out. Isn't that amazing how we can sometimes just get even a kitchen utensil here that everybody knows? And I really understand how the service motion happens. So once again, to have a nice rhythm and really efficient serve, it's important to use both arms at the same time and also bend your knees a little bit so you can push off and get some power up from your legs. All right, guys? Cheers. It's a wrap. Remember the corkscrew when you go out there and serve and you're going to have a nice fluid rhythm on your serve. Take care. I'll see you guys next time, probably from Europe. All right.